in this lecture we are going to see the importance of meta description existence here i have searched for amd am4 socket this is a keyword and my search result appears here this is the title and this is the url leave these two things the thing you need to concentrate is these two lines these are called meta description do you know why they are called meta descriptions let's see the post here normally when you don't give meta description google automatically generates it by taking some first 150 to 155 characters from your post if i haven't provided the meta description then just see here there is no amd am4 socket keyword in the first 150 characters which could have led me to the technical disadvantage but i have provided the custom meta description where amd am4 socket keyword is available see here this is the meta description i have provided here you can see amd am4 socket keyword in the meta description so it's not important to add keywords in meta description the existence of meta description is very important do you know why i insist on adding meta description for your post just see this test result or research of 10000 keywords here you can see that for the top 30 search results almost 98 to 99 percent of the post have meta description 2014 and this percentage has increased even by another one percentage in 2015 this is why i insist to add meta description to all of your posts strong meta description text will help optimize the search engine result pages headings help organize the landing page content this improves the user experience click through rates and bounce rates which will in turn improve rankings in the upcoming lectures let's see how we can add meta description to each of your post but in the next lecture i'm going to explain you the importance of h1 and h2 tags these are also called as heading tags